Hey everyone, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. In front of the camera, I have each one of the seven limited editions from the Seiko 5 collection, the Naruto and Baruto limited edition watches that are all based off of the Ninja anime series uh, that I will be honest, I'm completely ignorant when it comes to. So <laughs> please bear with me here. I have too much respect for you guys to try to pass it off like I know what I'm talking about, like I know the intricacies of the plot and I understand the Easter eggs and the history because I don't. I, I really have no experience with any type of anime, really. Um, I, I guess I did watch my neighbor Totoro when I was a kid, but that was about it. So I know that might anger some of you or disappoint some of you that are watching this. And to you guys, I apologize. But you know what? I've got too much respect for you to try to Google a few things and play it off like I know what I'm talking about because I don't. But that being said, I do know this platform very well. I do know Seiko very well. And uh, I have some nice thoughts to share with you guys. So uh, please bear with me. And let's begin with an awesome post that Ronan, that Ronan put on the Seiko Passion group this morning. I was browsing the group. I ran across this, thought it was awesome. This, of course, is a play off of the famous Tom Cruise meme where he's just laughing his head off. He's obviously in on an inside joke. He, he knows something that you don't know that really pleases him to a huge degree. And obviously, this is a play off of that. Uh, and I think it's awesome. This is how people who ordered their Naruto Seiko 5 feel when they get their watch. So they're obviously part of an inside joke. They're part of a club. They're supremely uh, uh, just so happy. Happy as can be. Happy as a fat kid in a candy store. So anytime I walk into a candy store, that's how <laughs> that's how happy people are. So let's talk about... Um, Let's talk a little bit about these watches. So this, of course, is the Naruto and Baruto limited edition versions. There's seven different ones. Each one of these watches come in a earth and heaven scroll from an exam that the junior ninja takes to uh, to pass on. Again, guys, maybe I'm coming across as a tool and a fool. I don't know much about the anime, but I can say that the, the tie-ins and the fan service at play here is deep in layered, and it's not just cheap fan service. Seiko, the, the designers that worked on this series, they really did their homework. They were likely big fans of this anime, and they did a fantastic job from the packaging to the straps to the colors to the dials, the shapes, the icons in the bezel, some of the case backs, the signatures on crowns. Uh, they, they really did a great job with, with doing a true limited edition that celebrates the various aspects and history and background uh, powers of each one of these characters here from the Naruto and Baruto anime uh, storyline. So I respect that. Seiko is, uh, they don't have a great history at doing that, in my opinion. They did work with Disney and doing a few Star Wars watches in cheap quartz movements that I never thought were very good. Now, maybe you, maybe you disagree with me there. That's totally fine. But I, you know, I, I just never really got the tie in from the characters that I'm very familiar with from the star Wars franchise. And then the watches, I, I just didn't think it was that great. I thought Oris actually did a better job when it came to their star Wars versions. And then if you look at Seiko's Mario, when they, they tied in with Nintendo and they did, um, they did a few Mario themed watches. I didn't think they did a great job with those either. I think some of them were stronger than others. And I grew up playing Mario. I played Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, and then of course the original game. Uh, in fact, I still play those games with my seven year old daughter. <laughs> and so I was hoping that they would do a better job with those, but I definitely think that they've done a fantastic job with these ninja limited edition versions now seiko has also done some street fighter editions that are equally bold and i think layered as well uh not just cheap fan service but true fan service and i appreciate that in fact i think it's a great thing that seiko is branching out from us crazy crabby watch fans and they're going into different uh just different avenues to tap into not only revenue we'll talk about that in a minute but they're exposing their brand and specifically mechanical watches to other people that might not be into watches as much, but maybe through this series or this limited edition, 
they become fans. I think that's great. So let's talk about uh, <laughs> let's talk about the money aspect and the numbers here. So again, each one of these watches are done in a batch of six thousand five hundred units, each of them, which might sound like a lot, right? Six thousand five hundred doesn't sound all that limited when you multiply the seven different watches by six thousand five hundred per watch. You get forty five thousand five hundred units globally. That's a, that's quite a number there. And they retail at four hundred and sixty dollars. Some of them are going for a bit more of a premium and some of them you can get at a slight discount. So I'm going to do some rough math here. I'm going to say that Seiko will roughly make two hundred dollars per watch, which means uh, they will make nine point one million dollars on this run of limited Naruto and Baruto uh, watches in the Seiko sports line. I think that's awesome. In fact, kudos to Seiko for, you know, doing something that will be greatly appreciated by fans. Like Ronan posted, the people that are buying these watches are excited to own these and to collect them and to wear them. So that's a win. And then Seiko's making money, right? They're making good money on these $45,000 watches and they're potentially bringing in more people to this hobby of horology. And I think that's fantastic. So on the whole, I might be ignorant about the anime, but overall, I think this is awesome. And I hope you guys can see that here. Now Seiko, they can take a lot of crap from us crabby watch enthusiasts. And a lot of the time it's deserved, right? They are coming out with more and more expensive watches, moving higher up in the price tier, so to speak. And the watches still carry the warts, the misalignment, the issues from time to time, the unsatisfying bracelets and, and different things. So I, I know a lot of us that are watch enthusiasts are salty with Seiko. And we're moving to Orient, which in the end, the same Ep Seiko Epson Corporation is, is getting our profit if we're moving to Orient. But Orient is seen as is more of a value brand. You know, it was the Seiko of five years ago. That's what they are now to a degree. So, so fans are moving to sit to Orient, excuse me. They're moving to Citizen. They're going into micro brands. They're going into Hamilton, the Swiss side of things, and they're leaving Seiko. But uh, I will say that Seiko has spent, and I don't think they get enough props for this, but they have spent a lot of time and effort into revamping and pumping life into their entry level watches like these Seiko 5s, these 5KXs in front of the camera. And if we think about it, they did some rebranding, which I know some of you don't like. You don't like the fact that this S kind of looks like the Superman S or it looks a little bit like Maui's hook from Moana. I don't necessarily think, uh, you know, agree with that. I look at this, I see something kind of contemporary and aggressive and interesting, and I prefer it to the classic five badge branding that they've done for so many years. So the fact that Seiko really, uh, they put a lot of attention and resources into this rebranded entry-level segment, the sports segment, and they just exploded with their most popular platform. It used to be the 7002, then it became known as the SKX, you know, in production for over 20 years, beloved by so many, and now it's the 5KX, which I know is another divisive point, right? It doesn't have the ISO 6425 compliance anymore. No screw down crown, right? Uh, that's a topic for another video, but Seiko has taken their arguably most iconic platform, their most beloved and comfortable case design, and they've just given us a host of different colors, uh, different versions. In fact, some of you think, and I, I think I agree with you, that they're taking a shot at the modding market or the mod scene. They're seeing how many people buy their products and then they like to change their products, right? Their Seiko. They like to change their Seikos to get a different look, to get a different feel, and uh, to really bond with the watch. So Seiko is, has come out with a host of different 5KX divers. And I think that's great from mesh straps to NATO straps, rubber straps, bracelet options, different colors, different chapter rings. You know, again, I think that's great. And I, I purchased the 5KX in the 40 millimeter size that was the non-diver. And that one was really fun to uh, spend some time with and review and own and then, you know, move on. Because guys, I'm a flipper and I like being a flipper. So I, I know a lot of you don't flip, but I like to flip. 
And then now they're, they're going in with the Street Fighter series and with the Naruto and Baruto editions. And they, again, they've worked with Disney and with Nintendo. And I hope that they continue to do that. And every time that they come out with a, a tie-in that's to a different franchise or a licensed product, I hope they spend the time and the effort, like they've obviously done with these seven, to really pay true fan service to where it's more than just a color. You're looking for the Easter eggs and you're enjoying the watch to the degree that, you know what, you feel like Tom Cruise when he's laughing his head off. I think that's great. So guys, I'd like to uh, to wrap up this video now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being patient with me, with my ignorance concerning this anime I've just got too much respect for you guys, and I know I could not pull the wool over your eyes, so I'm not going to try to do that. I hope you guys can appreciate. Um, but but thanks for watching, and let me know what you think of Seiko working with different licenses, working to expand their product to potentially new consumers. And if you could make a suggestion to Seiko, what would you like them to do? Would you like to see Marvel characters or Star Wars characters, Lord of the Rings stuff? Would you like to see a, a specific anime or better versions of their Nintendo themed or Mario themed watches? I'd be interested to hear what suggestions you have for this brand. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great evening and I'll see you next time.